Hi everyone, uh, let us talk about recruitment today. Okay, so this is a very nice way of describing recruitment. Recruitment refers to the perceptual phenomenon. Perceptual phenomenon means it is what the person or the patient is perceiving. He is perceiving it, but it is not in reality. This is not the reality, but it is a perceptual phenomenon. He is perceiving this phenomenon, perceptual phenomenon of sounds becoming rapidly louder with increasing sound level. So, suppose you have a graph and uh, as the sound level is increasing, sound pressure level is increasing, his perception should be going in a straight line. So, that means 20 decibels, he should hear 20 decibels of sound pressure level dB, he should be able to hear as uh, 20 decibels or 60 decibels, he should be here at 60 decibels. But, uh, at lower sounds he can't hear but he is able to hear the 60 decibels as 80 decibels okay he is able to hear the 60 decibels as 80 decibels so this is a graph that is going not in a linear fashion okay so this is recruitment refers to the perceptual phenomenon of sound becoming rapidly louder with increasing sound levels the the the, the maintenance of that sound pressure level or the correlation between the sound pressure level and the decibels is changing as it is becoming louder it is becoming very much louder to the patient so this is seen in uh, this patients with presbycusis older patients we could have we would have seen it in movies or in the maybe we may have even have having this uh, uh, um, you know you would have experienced this or observed it that when you go and talk to the patient in normal conversation voice he says i cannot hear please please speak louder but once you raise the voice he says stop shouting okay that is this is this is seen only in cochlear lesions. This is seen only in cochlear lesions. It is seen in presbycusis. Presbycusis is a cochlear lesion. Okay. So, uh, normally when you try to talk to the patient, he says, I cannot hear. So, please speak louder. But when you raise your voice, he says, stop shouting. Why are you shouting so loudly? So, this is a classical uh, feature of uh, recruitment seen in uh, cochlear lesions. Okay. So what is recruitment? Recruitment is an abnormal growth of loudness. If you remember this recruitment, you will understand everything else. Recruitment is nothing but a phenomenon of abnormal growth of loudness. The ear which does not hear low intensity sounds, so which was not hearing, so there is some problem already, begins to hear greater intensity sounds as louder, even louder than the normal ear. So that was what we were telling. There is a cochlear type of deafness low intensity sounds he is not able to hear but as you keep increasing the sound it is able to hear better than the normal ear as loud or even better than the normal ear that is that abnormal growth of loudness makes uh, hearing uh, or conversation very difficult okay it is not a boon it is actually a curse okay thus a loud sound which is tolerable in a normal ear loud sound may become uh, may grow to abnormal levels of loudness in the recruiting ear thus becoming intolerable so this is what is the thing so if a loud sound uh, is tolerable to a normal ear suppose a loud sound of 80 decibels is tolerable but the same 80 decibels in a recruiting ear will grow to 110 or 120 decibels and the patient is going to feel pain in the ear so this is abnormal growth of loudness seen in recruiting ear which is characteristic of cochlear type of lesions so they are poor candidates of hearing aids. So if he is having some stable kind of hearing loss like in cochlear, like in conductive hearing loss or in neural kind of hearing loss, the, the uh, eight, 80 decibels will be heard, suppose to hear that 80 decibel sound, uh, you have to increase it to 100 decibels, to 100 decibels, 120 decibels, there is a linear uh, difference. but. In, in, in conductive type of lesions, in conductive type of lesions and in neural type of lesions. So they are good candidates of hearing, uh, hearing aid, they are good candidates of hearing aid. But in the cochlear type of hearing loss, they are bad candidates because of this recruitment. So this is seen in lesions of the cochlea, as we already said, seen in example Meniere's disease and presbycusis. Okay, Meniere's disease and presbycusis are examples of diseases of the cochlea. So here you see in this chart, uh, what is happening? You are giving, this is the input presentation level. This is the perceived level. You are able to hear 20 decibels at 20, you are giving 20 decibels input. You are hearing 20 decibels, 50 decibels. You are hearing at 50 decibels. So this, this kind of uh, graph is being maintained in this green line, which is a normal line. Okay. 
for this patient, uh, for this patient, okay, who this uh, uh, orange line is 60 decibels. When you give the input level, he is not able to perceive anything. Zero, he is not able to perceive anything. But at 70 decibels, he is able to perceive at, at 30 decibels, and at 100 decibels, he is able to perceive as like a normal ear. Okay. So this this is abnormal growth of loudness. So this, if it is a conductive hearing loss, he is going to have this kind of a uh, line where the difference in between the two will be maintained. But because this is a recruiting ear seen in cochlear lesions, you have this uh, abnormal uh, growth of loudness. But once it crosses 90, he is able to hear it at 80. Okay, uh, 80 and at 100, he is able to hear it at 100. So this curve becomes like this. Okay, how do you test recruitment? ABLB test and CC test. What is ABLB? Alternate binaural loudness balance test. Alternate binaural loudness balance test and CC is short increment sensitivity index. So we are going to talk about these two now. So what is ABLB test? It is this is this is a subjective test. So both this uh, uh, ABLB and CC both are subjective tests. So it is used to detect recruitment in unilateral cochlear lesions. You cannot use it to detect bilateral cochlear lesions. CC, you can detect bilateral cochlear lesions, but unilateral cochlear lesions, you have to compare one ear to the other ear. So one ear has to be normal. So this is used to detect only unilateral cochlear lesions. Okay. So this is an example here. Left ear is a normal ear. Right ear is having cochlear hearing loss, which is then having recruitment. Okay. So zero decibel sound to be heard in the recruiting ear, you have to increase it to 30 decibels. 10 decibels, 40 decibels, 20 decibels to hear it at 50 decibels. But as you grow 50 decibels, you are able to hear it. So only 10 decibels of difference. And at 80 decibels, you, have to hear, you are hearing it at 80 decibels. Okay, you are able to reach it uh, at the normal level. Well, how, what do you expect? Uh, for the 80 decibel sound to be heard in the recruiting ear or heard in the uh, abnormal ear, you have to bring it to 110 decibels. There's a 30 decibels difference. You main, you expect the 30 decibel difference to be maintained, but that 30 decibel difference is going away. Okay, so this is seen in recruitment. Okay, so we will just go through it. In this patient, a particular frequency sound is heard in the left ear, normal ear at 0 decibels. A particular frequency sound is heard in the normal ear at 0 decibels. Whereas the same sound to be heard in the defective ear, the loudness has to be increased by 30 decibels. That's what we said. Same sound to be heard in the defective right ear, it has to be increased to 30 decibels. But as we keep on increasing the loudness of the sound, an 80 decibel sound in the left normal ear, 80 decibel sound left normal ear should be heard at 110 decibels in the abnormal right ear. In the abnormal right ear is actually heard at 80 decibels only. Is actually heard at 80 decibels only. This is the point we are trying to tell from the beginning. Okay. So 80 decibels, you should be able to hear at 110, you are, you are hearing it at 80 decibels only. This is because of the abnormal growth of loudness seen in recruiting ear, which is a uh, seen only in cochlear type of hearing loss. Okay, so this is now we are comparing this with the uh, we are comparing the last graph that was that is seen in recruitment to that of conductive hearing loss. In this patient, to hear a particular sound at zero decibels, you to for the same sound to be heard in the uh, in the other ear which is having conductive hearing loss, which is having conductive hearing loss or neural kind of hearing loss, we have to increase the sound to twenty by twenty decibels. That same thing is maintained throughout, even at 60 decibels to be heard, you have to raise it to 20 decibels. So the 20 decibel difference is maintained throughout in conductive and neural deafness. The initial difference is maintained throughout. While in cochlear lesions, you will see partial, complete or over recruitment. You can see partial recruitment, you can see complete recruitment or you can see over recruitment also. So recruitment is not like it is a fixed quantity. Some patients may have partial, complete or over recruitment. The more the recruitment, the more problem in giving them a hearing aid. Okay. Now coming to CC, a short increment sensitivity index. So what is this test based on? A normal here ear cannot differentiate between one decibel, differentiate increments of one decibel. That is a normal ear if you give 25 decibels or 26 decibels, he is not able to, he cannot pick it up. A normal ear cannot pick up a difference of one decibel, 45 and 46 or anything, 70 and 71, whatever. You cannot uh, pick up the increment, that one decibel increment you cannot pick up. But a recruiting ear can pick up even that one decibel increment. This is the basis of short increment sensitivity index. Okay. 
okay it is the ability of the recruiting gear to identify short increments of sound okay now coming to this graph now so how do you do, you do the procedure uh, first of all you take a sound at 20 decibels above the hearing threshold of the patient and you give 20 deci increments of 1 decibel each you give 20 times you increase the sound 1 decibel 1 decibel 1 decibel how at every 5 seconds interval okay and you ask the patient how many times have we increased the intensity of the sound so here in the here we give a 20 plus 1 decibel sound for a period of 200 milliseconds you wait for another you bring it down by another 50 50 milliseconds you bring it down and then you give a 5 second gap where you are giving 20 decibels only again you give 21 decibels again you raise it by 1 decibel then you give another 5 second gap then you give another one that means in the middle there is 20 decibels and in this uh, gap you give 20 decibel sounds and then suddenly increase it by 1 decibel then uh, again you give a 5 second uh, you give 20 decibels and then increase it by 1 decibel like that you do it for 20 times and then you ask the patient how many times can you pick it up so in, in a, a cochlear lesion he says i can pick up 70 to 100 percent of these increments whereas in a normal ear or retrocochlear lesions you basically cannot pick up or you can pick up only uh, only 20 percent of the time okay so this is uh, the thing uh, so uh, a normal ear cannot pick up these increments of sound whereas a recruiting ear can pick up this almost 70 to 100 percent almost uh, almost all the increments or 70 percent of the increments can be picked up a normal ear can pick up maximum 20 percent not more than that okay that's how you differentiate a cochlear lesion from a conductive or a neural kind of deafness okay i hope i'm clear Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe.